The gentleman will address the All right, welcome back. And using the appropriate Which here once again part 4. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Right, we're in this dude's fucking castle still, and I just remember correctly had to go through this whole bowing routine, which was super... I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Hehehehe. me a data. Must be the Emperor. In Grimmy at Art Kerzer, Dyfen Aden in Karn at Marwut, Emir Var Emres. Bow. Oh, I get to choose? Yes. Oh, hell no. Not bowing. Not doing it. F fuck your couch, dude. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favort. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked, scrub. Didn't bow. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Surila, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war? To discuss a rumor. I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. Ah. She trusts me. Yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Marriage? Enough of this banter. You marriage. I'm guessing us, marriage. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. That was a half assed bow. All that shit about bowing. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman? But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. Hey, Witcher, we need a thing in the morning, and it's past noon. Calm yourself. What? What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? If I'm Helivard the Second, Prince of Elanda. Not only Morfolk. am I made to wait here like some supplicant, okay. but with whom for company? A tinter, Tanner, Master of the Tanner's Guild. Look at this church real quick. Don't mind. This is absolutely amazing. I just want to appreciate. They got tapestry. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. 
I wish I could get a closer look at it. What this guy's doing. My curiosity is natural. The tapestry, the tapestry on the ceiling is fantastic. Wow, this is amazing. Are they renovating it, or are they trying to dig something out? It kind of bothers me that they're trying to dig something out of a church. I have my eye on you, Oh, I bet you do, big guy. I am investigating. What's your hurry? Can you not appreciate this beautiful game? Ah, breaking the fourth wall. The statue. This is absolutely. This is impressive. Very impressive. All right. Let's go, hoity toity. Bow boy. Your new nickname is now Bow Boy. <laughs> True story. If somebody told me to bow before the king, I would tell him to go F himself. Flat out. I do not bow before men either, so they're. So I just, we both got together. I go on. It's a church courtyard. This is very pretty. I wish I could kind of look up a little bit more, but not really. I'm trying to rotate slowly. My, I do apologize. My controller is. I have it set pretty sensitive, so. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Oh, I appreciate that. That quill shop in the Yes. Oh, nice fireplace. Oh, uh, there. This is a penis broiler. But the church of the <laughs> I don't know why. Why? It's it's a cock broil. It's a cock. Boiler. No! Oh no, there's more. Oh no, it's a giant one. No. I don't really hope that's for something like alchemy or something. Oh, what's in here? Hold up. This is kind of cool. What is this? Something, um, came out of the top of the the cock boiler. Oh. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Oh, are we English? Uh, trying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm hmm And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. All grown up. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't? Not a bit? <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunt's after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. 
before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Yeek. Yes? Yes? That she's gone. All right. I guess we're gonna go this way. A shame I have no time. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war, and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Okay. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, 
he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Hmm. That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Alright. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Any news from Novograd? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. All right. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. You deserve that for making me bow like a thousand times earlier. All right, so. Hmm. Turn the light off. I don't feel bad at all for that. I don't know what these do yet.
Can I not access my inventory? I guess not. Oh, I have to get my things. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be looting since I can't, don't have an inventory. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh. Some of oh, you jerk. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. This is young, I never care. Some books you can probably read and stuff like that. I don't know if there's like information, I'm sure that there's probably books out there you can probably get information from, but you know. This is a card guy. Sure. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm gonna play the round of cards. They caught me off guard. Let's see if we can figure out what to do here. Choose a card, a redraw.
five in there. Okay, so I don't... Why is he... winning by one. cards does he have left? Alright, I feel like he burnt quite a bit of cards in that one, yeah.
Yeah, so I suck at this game. Alright. I don't really understand how to play that game. So we'll have to cross the yard, huh? we will cross figure the out well. how to play that game, I guess. Because I really don't know how to play. It is almost close to wrapping up time. I'm sorry I was so quiet during the game, but I really have no clue what the heck is going on. Oh, uh, let's see here. So... I guess we're gonna fast travel to here. Let's travel. Let's have a fast travel. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. Something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Fertile, huh? So I guess the uh, witchers could have all the sex they want and have to worry about knocking somebody up. Explains Gerald <laughs> and his many women. Wonder what they call Heyman's tree. Oh, there we are. Solve the riddle. Somebody went into a lot of effort to put a body way up in the tree like that. Come on. So some dogs here. Friggin' cook the raw meat over something. Come on, Roach. I do like to hang people in this game. Get it up. Don't ring it off the horse for our wild dog. Get off the horse. place got burned down. Let's see what kind of contracts that they have in the village.
interesting. Alright. Tormented soul. Well. Somebody's a little poetic. Should find somebody's wife, huh? see here. Seems like a good place to start. Undiscovered locations around. So we are definitely in no man's land. But Ooh. Take that one, this seems sensible. We do have one mutagent, which we will put on ourselves. Looks like you have six per. Oh, all right. No available points of gray. Okay. All right. Cool. That's good to know. But you have these as well. So. Okay, so. I imagine you can switch back and forth for what you need to do, so. So, do we have time? We don't really have time to do that today. Alright, this is Old Sergeant Ghost, part four. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Do some more Witcher story's been a little more interesting we're going to do a lot more exploring now that we kind of obviously need to do a little leveling up so we'll kind of do some more exploring and we'll have some more fun all right peace out